Welcome everyone to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. Today we will continue Leon's Mad Adventures. Today we will be picking our next destination and where we will be going. Um, we now need to pick the from the galaxy map. We can go back to Telos. We can go to Onderon. We can go to Narshada. Dantooine. And Korriban. So there is a number of places we can go. Um, Korriban and Dantooine, you will remember... You will, oh, let, me, let me try and say that again. Korriban and Dantooine, you will remember from the previous game. Significant changes have gone on here since those games. Uh, so these will be very different maps. <clears throat> However... Um... I remember saying that Saul lied when he attacked the Jedi Temple on Dantooine. I was actually wrong. He did, and it is destroyed. Uh, the game does not actually let you return in Knights of the Old Republic 1 to Dantooine after he does that. So any side quests you needed to do there, you needed to have made certain you were done with. Um, I am going to go to Dantooine, I think, first. Because I want to find more of the parts to HK-47. But... Um, I also kind of want to go to Nar Shadda, But I don't think I'm ready for Nar Shadda yet. But I am ready to go to Dantooine. Because Nar Shadda gets a little messy. I will be right back. I did not mean to uh, leave you guys hanging there. Um, oh, that's right. I, didn't I pick up? Yeah, I picked up a disruptor rifle, and I kind of need to screw with that. Because disruptor rifles actually work a little bit differently in this game. Excuse me. Then they do in... KOTOR 1. Uh, that allows me to force all enemies to run for a stun. Or roll for a stun, not run for a stun. Uh, do I have a modifier on the scope? No, I do not. Okay. I feel like I should put one on this, though. <laughs> um. Actually, I do want to take the ion parts off of the weapon. Because we will not really be fighting many droids here. The majority of what we will be fighting is something else entirely. Um, hmm.
I'm just making sure all of my parts are where I can mess with them. Okay. So I need to craft a few pieces for my weapons here. Um, that grants keen. That's the stun. This grants accuracy modifiers. Okay, that I'm definitely crafting a couple of. Ion charges, I don't care about. <clears throat> Massive critical modifiers, they sound good, but those are only good on a critical hit. Ooh, Ryleth power cells. Hmm. Those give uh, bonuses to energy damage, and I think I actually want to craft a few of those. Yeah. And then chambers... Beam splitter. Oh, actually. Yes. Okay, so now let's take a look at this disruptor rifle. So now we can outfit it with a basic power cell, a basic firing chamber, and a scope to give it a bonus to attacks. <clears throat> The Arconian Blaster Rifle can get a modified scope for extra accuracy, which is always nice. Um, Atten's Blaster predominantly needs additional damage. And again, we wouldn't really be able to do this if we didn't have that modification that allows us to add on to these things. Um, Let's go ahead and see how nasty something like this ends up when we're done with it. 5 to 16, and that's without a scope. That's actually pretty good damage on a Warbow caster. I can also modify a Mandalorian Blaster Pistol, which would probably be a smart thing to do. Alright, let's uh, create a scope for it. There we go. Craft a couple of scopes. Because I think I'm going to give the Mandalorian Blaster to Kreia. I don't know if Kreia is going to come with me on this or not yet. Let's go ahead and attach the scope to the War Blaster, uh, War Bowcaster, so that it has bonuses to attack modifiers. Okay, now... I am going to equip the Disruptor Rifle because that gives me 10 unstoppable damage. And 3 to 5 additional energy damage with a plus 2 attack modifier and it crits on 18 to 20. That is just a really good gun to have. I... Do I, do I want to bring Beodur? I don't know if I want to bring Beodur. You know what? Let's take a look at uh, melee enhancements. Build a basic Neutronium Edge. Oh, I can build him an energy cell. Go ahead and build him those. And then we'll upgrade his Fibro Sword. To no longer be anti droid. He'll do a slight bit of energy damage and he'll do extra slashing damage if we choose to take him. And I might just take him. Um, okay. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the Handmaiden, and do I want to take T3M4? I kind of want to see what Kreia has to say about all this, but let's go ahead and take T3M4. Actually, no. 
I actually should take Baylor. Because he has very high demolitions and that's going to be useful visitor? here. You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. You're one of the salvagers, right? Your ship looks banged up enough to be part of that lot. But you look different. Then who are you? The only recent visitors we've had on Dentuin have been salvagers and a slew of mercenaries. Just to see the sights, right? You're just another salvager. Go see Administrator Adari in Kunda if you want to get into the ruins. Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The Administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. Hmm. I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. <sighs> she was the agricultural administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. Hmm. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up. But after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a fiber blade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on calf hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the calf hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident prone. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adari. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Sure. Yes? So her intelligence is actually extremely low, so she has really shitty skill point modifiers. But do not underestimate the Handmaiden because of that. Her combat capability is shocking. Uh, she will surprise you. She also already has tier 2 toughness, so you usually don't have to worry about her physicality. I will be working on trying to improve her intelligence, mostly because she needs it in order to be able to have skill points. And God does she need skill points. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll master power attack. Unarmed Specialist Rank 3, Tier 3 Toughness. Ichani Strike 2. <clears throat> Get Master Melee Weapon Focus. <clears throat> Zyson Shaw Armor really suits her, believe me. Uh, we'll give her an Arconian Energy Shield and an Ichani Shield. Reflex Package, Cardio Package. More than I think she's going to need the Cardio Package more, actually. She's got a half-decent staff in the Handmaiden staff. 
Uh, in terms of weapons, I think I'm just going to let her keep that for right now. Don't really see any reason to change that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give him this armor so that he actually has armor. So, Dantooine's state after, after KOTOR 1. Uh, Dantooine was attacked. <laughs> Fallen Jedi's proximity may be the problem, but who can say? Something must be causing the mysterious behavior in the Kinrath. Kinrath are common to several worlds, where they are well known for their burrowing and nesting. But they, but here they swarm. The tunnels near here appear to be the center of their anomalous behavior. Why are you so anxious to leave Dantooine? <clears throat> the wait for my herd ship has been long. I am eager to return to Telos. Curious recreation known as Pazak. Much time has passed and, and I made many friends, but now the humans here no longer play with me. I do not completely understand. When I was learning, they were eager to play for small amounts of credits. Now that I enjoy and know the game, no one will play. I even offered to wager rare components useful in the making of armor, but after a short time, even that wasn't enough. Now I'm anxious for time to pass again. Um, uh, maybe later. <laughs> He's actually pretty good at Pazak, uh, but you can play him in order to get some rare armors, armor components if you want it. Just make sure you save Scum because it's very easy for him to uh, to kick your ass. So I think the reason everybody stopped playing Pazak with him is because he got really good at Pazak and everybody ran out of credits. <laughs> uh, Dantooine was attacked near the end of KOTOR 1 and the Jedi Enclave was decimated. Most of the settlers were basically forced to scatter in order to avoid getting butchered by the Sith. So the dark side kind of took a heavy toll here. Pretty badly. In terms of being capable the troops here uh are there's there's a small local militia like this they say this is the beginning of their government this isn't really a government um this is more like a mayoral town thing for localized settlers to have a means of being able to gather together and if they need to defend themselves together <coughs> For some bizarre-ass reason, large amounts of mercenaries have been coming in, and uh, the mercenaries have been pushing around the locals, bullying them, extorting them, attacking them, trying to get money out of them, and in many cases also trying to evict them from their homes. Uh, nobody can figure out why they want to do that, and rightly so because one would think mercenaries would be looking for work. Uh, uh, apparently these mercenaries are more looking for ways to shove somebody else and do whatever the hell they want instead of doing their jobs. Or instead of getting a job. Hey, get away from that door. The last time somebody messed with it, it was locked down for months before we could fix it. I forgot that about that door. Hey, J You look like you've been standing too close to one of my shield generators. <sighs> Was there something you wanted me for? I was actually not trying to talk to him. What do you want now?
That lady is very mean. I had a rumor that the administrator met with a Jedi. If that's true, I'll quit. I'm gonna work for someone that associates with them. Hmm, people around here don't like Jedi. Interesting. Why don't they? Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant. And never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Hmm. Settlers here really don't like Jedi, do they? Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. You're not. The only heavily armed people that visit us are either salvages or mercenaries. Mm -hmm. And you don't look quite gritty enough to be a mercenary. The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. Akere is still around here somewhere, too. He sells droid components. Just go to the central corridor and make a right. His shop is the first on the right. If you get into any trouble, he's the person you'd contact. Unfortunately, recent problems with the salvagers and mercenaries have kept him quite busy. Mm. The mercenaries cause disruptions for some of our outlying settlers. They are a constant source of friction for us. I hear the salvagers are having some internal problems too. <sighs> No, I couldn't. If you're really interested in that, just speak to Zeron. <laughs> Excuse me. Interesting. This place seems to have a lot of problems. The salvagers keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garavik is the worst of them. Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes. No friendly greetings are here for you. Many of the weak are skilled in manners, but I am not weak. Do not seek to insult me again. I am done being inconvenienced by you. Another interruption. You must not have heard who I am. Waste another's time, not mine. Someone less important. That guy's a real douche. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Kunda's like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought <gasps> before, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. The salvagers stole your equipment? Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn legrics came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. Are you sure it's a salvager? My farm is the closest to the Enclave ruins. It has to be someone nearby. And if the mercenaries wanted it, they'd just take it in broad daylight. The closest place besides that is the salvager camp, so it has to be them. You ever met one of them? Thievery wouldn't be too far a stretch for any of them. The other day mm. I had to take a shot at one of them. Soon someone is going to get killed, and Dantooine has enough trouble without that. 
What do a lot they of steal? farming equipment. It's not even valuable, just important for the moisture vaporators and hydro processors. The thief must be desperate for credits. Is there anything I, I can do to help? Could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to this salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. It's Where's right the camp? next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. <laughs> I'll That's see what I can here. do. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. You got it. A lot of people here hate Jedi. When they were here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. You haven't? Well, that's something. I'm the second in command over here, and we keep getting incidents. Our staff is stretched thin. Too thin. If you do have trouble, I'm not the one to talk to. You need to... Isn't being hands-on a good thing? Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So Ask like me Zeron if I care? It's like a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's going to fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. With some people, if you give them a little room, they'll take a lot more. Dantooine has had mercenaries on it for years. I talked with some, and they're not unreasonable. There's got to be some sort of compromise we can both live with. I... R the way this man is talking about the mercenaries... My previous experience just may, just finds this incredibly amusing. You can't bargain with a rancor. <laughs> Using my own analogy against me? The mercenaries aren't rancors. They're people, like you and me. But if you keep provoking them, it's just dangerous. I think we should be working on getting along. It's hard to follow orders that have you make things worse. That attitude is dangerous. When you're outnumbered on a hostile world, you've got to stay a team. That's a good way of looking at it. I may not agree with the captain, but I guess I should make everyone fall in line. I still worry that he may provoke the mercenaries into something more dangerous. But I suppose he may know something I don't. Thanks. Seems like Dantooine has had a lot of trouble. I don't even want to get into it. Ask around if you want to know the details. It'll, I don't know what we do without Administrator Adare. Hmm. Sounds like you don't approve of Zara. Uh, this is the thing. Oh. So, the mer so. It's I all if. Just look around, see if Zeron's up to something on the side, something that'll hurt the fragile peace we got with the mercenaries. So if you happen to find, we should probably talk about something. All right. Tochi monas runta. Poso mabri tushni Poso poso mabri Selling arms, right? Yeah, this guy goes on and on about weapons merchant mercantile merchandising. He actually has a few good items, particularly with the mod on. He has a shockingly capable inventory. Um, oh wow, he's got a bronze blade crystal. And a Rubon crystal too. That's a good crystal. Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> See, a lot of these weapons you wouldn't even see and would almost certainly never find uh, without without that modification being on. And you would never know that the game even had.
Okay, really? 10,000 credits for that? You're ripping me off, bro. Ahaha! <laughs> Defense bonus reduction. And you want to try and sell that for 20,000 credits. You should be shot for that price. That's just a really bad price. Hello, Zarin. Militia captain here. Are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? I see. Well, what's your reason for coming to militia headquarters? Rare thing a visitor wanting to help out. Looks to me like you're here to explore the Jedi ruins. But we have a thing or two that need doing. You seriously want to help, just ask about it. Or any other questions you might have. You want something? What sort of work do you have? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Why is this place so overrun with Kinrath? Kinrath are normally just pests. We think something happened to their nest. Mm. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart about such things. How dangerous is it? Very. Kinrath you see on the plains aren't as tough as the ones inside the caves. They may not look much different, but they are tough. How much is the reward? 2,000 credits. With so few settlers, lives are much more important than credits. I agree with you, but I don't barter. I got more important. What do you know about the cave? We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back. Just made them angrier. They burrowed another entrance even closer to us. I know there are crystals in there, too. Some of the salvagers once thought about going in there to get some extra credits. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Shouldn't be hard to find. I'll see what I can do. That's all I can ask. You want something? What's Garavik's connection to the militia? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game with the last survivor, right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses. But nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Pazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? <laughs> Baron asked me to he investigate did, did you. He? What's this about? He wants to try reaching a compromise with the mercenaries. You can't compromise with those people. They're like Minox and a power converter sucking the life out of us. So he's asked you to go looking into what I'm up to. If I didn't need every last man here. I think he's wrong. And I think I can help you. I appreciate. You. Mm. All right, I can use your help. But you can't tell anyone. There's a mercenary captain near what's left of the Jedi Enclave's courtyard. His name is Dopak. Just tell him that I said, go ahead. That's all. You have questions, but it's like this conversation never happened, got it? Just do it. It'll help out Kunda. We can talk more later. Interesting. There's definitely a lot more going on here than what I initially thought. This place is chock full of problems for some outworld, for some outer rim boondock. So we've opened all the doors we can open. Let's go talk to the administrator. A 
a visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Leon. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual. But you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? That ship is one of the fastest in the galaxy. I meant no disrespect at all. It is, in fact, a remarkable vessel. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. I'd prefer if you keep that quiet. The Jedi don't seem to be liked here. Or practically anywhere else these days. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. What do you mean by that? My friend, let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. Mm. He's gone missing. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? He didn't send for me, but I would like to meet with him. Brooke and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave <coughs> sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to <coughs> I'll make it my it's first priority. That you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can... Barun believes that Zaron is, high, is up to something. I have no doubt that Barun means well, but I have every confidence in Zaron. I would ask you to ignore anything Barun asked of you. He doesn't see the full scope. What's going I on? realize that I'm asking you for help, but you must also know that I am the head of this nominal government. Is there any work I can do here? There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around. <sighs> I'll be going now. Both of those questions that I could have asked her would have basically led me in a circle because I've already asked <coughs> questions similar to that repeatedly. There's no sense in asking that. So I know I said I'd make it my first priority to go to locate Master Vrook. I lied. I'm actually going to go deal with those Kinrath. Um, but we are going to... I brought the handmaiden because I didn't know if she was going to have any interesting dialogue options here. And I know her character has a deep-seated curiosity about Jedi, so I figured, let's bring her to the Jedi caves! What could go wrong? Or not caves, but enclave. And even show her the Jedi crystal caves where they get a lot of their lightsaber crystals. You know, it's one of those, what could possibly go wrong moments. As for Beodur, I brought him along for a different reason. Um, and it's not because he can punch people in the face really hard. Although I admit, that's a pretty tempting reason. Don't mind me, I'm just shooting through hills. I shall honor them in battle. Damn! Those two are a very nasty melee combo because they're both powerhouses. With me backing them up as range support, it's kind of tough for them to, to get their asses kicked in any way. Jeez. 
stabbed it in the back of the head. <laughs> Let me handle this. No damage. Help her. Don't just stand there like a lemon. Beodur! You dick! Seems these Kinrath really aren't very big threats. There's just a lot of them. Take them down. Realistically, the Kinrath are not the troublesome enemies that you have to worry about that much on Dantooine, by the way. Um, there are far more dangerous enemies to worry about. Let's head into the Crystal Cave. We're going to be fighting a lot of Kinrath down here. Mercenary ahead doesn't notice you. He appears to be walking past the Kinrath unharmed. So that's an interesting little optional sub-objective you can do. Um, you can choose to get his help dealing with the Kinrath by simply avoiding them. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. Largely because it's very easy to... Uh, Viper Kinrath are the Kinrath you actually have to worry about, by the way. Viper Kinrath are strong Kinrath. Yeah, they took a little bit of damage. They're okay. Advanced repair kit. I use rapid shot because it gives me multiple chances to land to land hits. Oh, hi! So, the Handmaiden is basically close combat, the, uh, the teammate. She really doesn't have much else to her, in all honesty. Kind of a challenge. Okay. Oh, damn, they took Beodor out. Okay. I didn't realize they'd hit him that hard. There we go. Give him his health back. Mandalorian combat suit and an advanced med pack. Uh, we'll be returning to this area a little bit later. But I can loot it while I'm here. <clears throat> Cyan crystal. Ooh. Yes. Let me see what... No. You're still missing any meter matrix and lens. Something. Hi. Heal can cure poison. The tier 2 healing uh, force power can actually cure poison. 
And uh, Viper and Hive Kinrath both poison. Hive Kinrath is the strongest Kinrath. Viper Kinrath are mid tier. Her poison. Advanced med pack. Thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. This place affects me strangely. There is a tingling in my forehead. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. Hmm. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. Huh. Tell me more about these crystals. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. You said the crystals absorb the Force? I feel strange, but... Not weaker. The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force. I don't like leaving behind evidence. That can hardly be avoided. Even mundane actions of the basest creatures can create detectable ripples in the force. A Minoc beating its wings on the plains could cause a sandstorm in the desert. And figuratively speaking, Jedi have much bigger wings. Oh, what if I destroyed all the crystals That here? would create quite a large impression of yourself. And the crystals would eventually grow back. Oh. That's a lot of Kinrath. So these are Kinrath hatchlings. They're not very powerful Kinrath enemies. The matriarch is the only one that's actually really dangerous. Daughter. What the hell? cheating right now and I can see it. There you go. I shouldn't have missed three volleys in a row. Let's just watch my character fail to shoot an egg. Velmanite and violet crystals. Hmm. 
I don't think it's possible for this weapon to do two damage. And it just did. I can't even shoot an egg. For a crown? Leon Crystal. This corresponds to you. This is very rare indeed. What does it mean? The crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the Force, <clears throat> the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Is the bond dangerous? Quite the contrary. Picture yourself as a sieve and the force as water pouring into you. This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. Does the crystal feed off of the light side of the force? The crystal is in tune with you. It will use whatever water that pours through you, be it dark or light. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll have to remember this. crystal that modifies itself with me. That crystal can actually be very different depending on whether or not you go light side, dark side, and I believe it can also be influenced by your class. Sentinel, Guardian, uh, Constant. It will, however, predominantly uh, scale and tune itself exclusively to you. If you turn dark after going full light, like if you, like say you went like super light side in the force, you could then also choose to go super dark later. The crystal will change its alignment to match you as you change. That crystal will never, ever, ever, ever not be usable to you. Yatuka or one rika chotin wani maura Kavadumpa mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawakachu Yatuka Yatuka or one rika chotin wani maura ta wakata chilum Bram tabani sochu The come just mak mik So we can go harvest a scent gland in order to avoid direct conflict with the Kinrath if we want. But since we're being paid to exterminate them, that doesn't really suit well with my plan. So I'm going to choose to not go harvest one. Uh, alternatively, if you wanted to be a dick or you're not afraid of going dark and you're actually trying to do a dark side run, you could take his scent gland off of him if you persuade him to let you have it. And then you can let him die by simply not giving it back to him. I have actually done that. It's an incredible scene. I'm sorry. There's some just, there's just some phenomenal dick moves you can do in this game. It's fantastic. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. 
You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. Yeah, I was paid to kill the Kinrath. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to coon down his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic custom inspector before I came. I remember home. him looking distinctly different when I played this as a kid. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. But Dantooine is temperate. There is no need for atmospheric sensors except for seasonal data collection. Huh? It's just important we get it back. They're expensive pieces of equipment, and we can't afford to replace them. Regardless, I don't suppose... Why do you really want those sensors? I just really need them. It's important. Please come. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you find, whether they're broken or not. No idea whatsoever. I think. Hmm. So, as a kid, it never actually struck me why it would be weird for him to want those. As an adult, Dantooine is not atmospherically a planet that is chaotic, tumultuous, or difficult. Um, for anybody who might have trouble dealing with my three or four dollar words, I apologize. I'm not trying to sound like an arrogant snoot. Uh, I'm, uh, I actually like to, to expand my vocabulary once in a while when I say things like that. But uh, what... Uh, he actually wants those for an entirely different reason. And Beodor is uh, is along to help me figure out what that reason is. Because if you don't have Beodor, uh, you will never figure this out. And when we find those atmospheric sensors, you will understand why you need Beodor in order to figure this out. I cannot for the life of me remember where the hell they are. Um, I thought they were supposed to be near the Kinrath Caves. But I could be wrong. Also, we're about to have to fight cat hounds. Yeah, this weapon's got a pretty long range. Uh, cat hounds are the actual troublesome enemy, by the way. Kinrath are really easy to deal with. Cath hounds, as a general rule of thumb, are tougher. As you'll notice, he's losing much smaller chunks of his HP. Until those two started beating on him. Because those two hit like frickin' freight trains. Um. <laughs> Let's continue to up my repair skill, actually. Buff treat injury a little bit. Uh, actually, I will buff persuasion, because treat injury is doing just fine. Feats. There's my tier 3 toughness. Force channel! Oh, force channel is actually a really cool power. Let's get tier 2 battle meditation, though. That positively impacts us and negatively impacts enemies. Don't mind me, I'm shooting through a hill. Jesus, those two hit hard. Don't ever underestimate a handmaiden and a Zabrak uh, engineer with a souped-up robo-arm! 
Oh, that's a horn cat hound. Oh, shit. Shit, I'm too far away. They, they did turn to attack the smaller cat. That's actually good. So what Battle Meditation does is it imposes buffs on your teammates uh, to their attack rolls and their defense and imposes debuffs on your enemies to the same effect. Uh, battle Meditation is something that you might remember from the previous set of streams. Bastila used it as a means of enhancing the will and fighting capabilities and union of the army that she worked with. Um, yeah, she put it to really good effect. Mitra Surik, the canon version of this character, is also extremely skilled with it. Oh look, there's more Catholic. Tapele gathered a group to go to the sub-level. They're probably all gonna get killed. Oh, the visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Am I that transparent to you? Apparently this is so. I am Rallon, known throughout this camp for the many artifacts of value that I have uncovered. A question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish... You flatter me, traveler. I ask a mere 1,000. Oh, I assure you it. Well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. How, how'd you know? Well, I never unload this accursed thing. This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. <laughs> Actually, I can blame you violently. First of all, yes, I can. This forgery has passed through several hands in this camp. I am merely the latest victim. I wish to abandon this dung heap. Then throw it in your fire, you fucking dickhead, and stop trying to set it on somebody else. No, of course not. Another salvager sold it to me, and he bought it from another one before him. When there were more, ah, but now there are few of us, and I'm stuck with this garbage. There's no way I can make it home to my family and children. You, with all your observations, I'm not going to talk to you about the holocron anymore. So, what should we talk about? You should talk to Darala. I've told her everything I know. I think I saw the thief by the ruins of the Enclave. I believe that the thief has to be living in the sublevel, because every place else has been visited many times by the salvagers. I didn't get a clear look at the thief. It was dark. There isn't... Yeah, so you meet that guy in less than 10 seconds after you meet him, he basically tries to come on your ass. We don't need another one. Look around. I'm gonna... Because anything valuable in the ruins was carted away months ago. And while... I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the... Sometimes I sell them to visitors. You should have let me know you So... She's... She's an ass. <laughs> Hello! Zyson Shaw Warrior Armor! Well, 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 well. She's also selling Dark Jedi Master Robes, which give Force Point Regeneration bonuses. A Jedi Robe, which will do the same thing. Gray Jedi Robes! So this is actually something that they could have also messed with as well. Great Jedi are those who, though having completed the teachings of the Jedi, operate independently and outside of the Jedi Council. They're typically seen as misguided though they have not necessarily succumbed to the dark side. 
Norris robe, which uh, gives you an energy damage reduction. That's actually one of the most common forms of damage, so this is not actually a bad robe, and the reason why it's expensive is now apparent. Dark Jedi Knight robes, Makutai Apprentice robe. This is a really good robe because it gives you stat bonuses. However, the problem with this robe is that it doesn't do anything else. Ultima Pearl. <laughs> ah, the Ankara Sapphire. Oh, yeah. That's actually a really cool lightsaber crystal. I was hoping she might have, uh, there we go, a cheap lens. And a cheap emitter, but all of her emitters are ungodly expensive. Um, she sells a host of really good crystals, actually, with this mod on. I want that armor. All right, let's go kill some cat hounds. I do not need to get in their face. As you saw, that fight started to drag on because I didn't re uh, I didn't recast the battle meditation when it wore off. You've wandered into the wrong camp. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? What does the militia have to say to him? I think that Zeron is three cards short of a Pazak deck. You can tell him you've delivered your message. Thanks. Now get out of here.
so there's Mandalorians here. Uh, we'll talk to them later when I have a certain character with me. Until we have that character, there is no need for me to do this. Yes? Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing any meter matrix and lens. Something. That's funny, I picked up a lens. Um. Yeah, so Dantooine basically got occupied by the Sith pretty hardcore, and it was kind of nasty. The. The local settlers got it bad. Do you feel it? The wound on this world, it is centered here. Oh, hey, look, HK droids. If we succeed in gathering the Jedi, they will come to this place. And if those Jedi are slain, then all that remains of the Order shall be drawn here as well. I believe that dialogue, uh actually wasn't in the base version of this game. When will this happen? We will know when the time comes. And I hope our enemies do not. Hmm. Announcement. You have caused us to expenditure a great deal of effort to find you, Jedi. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Threat. Come with us without resistance, Jedi. Or you will come with us in pain. Do you ever... Don't you ever know when to quit? I can stun lock these two droids. Instead, I'll stunlock that one until they deal with the one that's still shooting. Oh my god, that was pretty damn funny. Oh, there's the HK chassis. Oh shit, they both leveled up off of that. Wow, one of those droids almost killed Beodor. Jesus, dude. What's going on? We're gonna level you up. That's what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and level up his strength. Dink, 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 dink. You're buffing his stealth, and I don't know why I would want to do that. Ah, there we go. Now she actually has a little bit more in terms of skill potential. Yay. Um... Dueling is not useful for Oh, I forgot about this. Let's uh, give her improved conditioning. Who are we missing? We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cath hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? You won't find anything there except on the lowest sub-level. And there you'll only find death. Lagrex are everywhere. Nothing. Find out for yourself. I'm not interested in training the competition. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us and get down to our business. You act like you're worth eavesdropping on. And you're not. Alright, let's kill some cathounds. Uh... 
Oh my. Again, also recognize Cath Hounds from the previous uh, installment. Cath Hounds did appear in this game, in the previous game. They were a major thing to worry about on Dantween because, for some strange reason, they were all being corrupted and going berserk. It was actually Juhani's negative feelings doing that to them. Uh, now I imagine it's because the Jedi are dead and the Sith left a really negative force impression after they slaughtered the Jedi. Damn. She hits so hard. So yeah, that side of the Enclave, we can't get in there. And that's the area we used to go into. We're gonna have to visit the Enclave another way. For anybody wondering, the title of this stream is what it is because I just, I wasn't entirely sure where I was gonna go until I got on and looked at the planets and then just decided, hey, let's go to Dantooine. Inside the Enclave. So, Legrex. Let's talk about Legrex. Legrex are an extremely annoying insectoid species that uh, have a bioregenerative capability. So, every time you deal damage to them, they will heal some of it every round. They are extremely prone to regenerating. Uh, there's a lot of mines also scattered around here. So you need to bring somebody in who actually has good demolition skills. This is one of the other reasons that I brought Beodur is because he has very good demolition skills. Deadly win. Deadly Leg Rex have even better regeneration. You might be tempted to ask, just what the hell is a Leg Rex? Well, Leg Rex are a insectoid creature that is particularly large, particularly strong. They regenerate their health so they don't die easy. I will have to uh, call my mother back after this. This will teach you. Sorry, I had to let my mother know that I was busy streaming. Um, oh, uh, did I mention these things to breathe fire? I shall honor them with battle. Oh my god. Oh my god, they almost killed Beodur. Jesus, they might still. Yeah, these things deal a ton of damage. Hello? My leg wrecks. You've killed them. They're my pets. Lady, those things tried to kill me. I'm not a thief. You will give to the Jedi in exchange for service. They were just giving. You're one of them. Just another stinking salvager and thief, stealing what belongs to Jedi. I am a Padawan, and one day, one day I will learn enough to be a Jedi. I was studying here when Darth Malak and the Sith came. 
I was outside the enclave when my master left me at the Madeley estate. Shen protected me, but the Sith came asking questions of all the Madeleys died. But I hid. Even when the estate was burning, I hid. So I hide. I'm hiding until my master returns. Lady, your master is dead. You were? I, I had no idea. You aren't anymore? Are there any Jedi left? Is that even possible? That's horrible. Are there any masters left to teach us? I remember him. I sent my leg wrecks to get him to leave, but he just made my pets stop. I was going to talk to him, but the mercenaries came for him. They never came <clears throat> down here. I was surprised and hid. There was a big fight. They said they were going to take him someplace. Let me try to remember. The Kinrath Cave. Yes, that's what they said. I... I know that that was wrong. I'll stop. I was just trying to get enough credits to eat. But I'll think of something else. I found some things. I don't know how to use them. I had a holocron, but it said... It told me the Jedi were no more. That I needed to survive and do anything to protect my home. They're a bad holocron? I... The holocron was more forceful the longer I learned. It frightened me. I threw it into the ruins. I, I went back to... I... I don't know. I'll try to find a master. Hey, Glory. There have to be some left. I'm not going to use the force. Well, so far you're the only one. one to check in. So much has gone wrong. Still, Should hopefully somebody will enjoy it. Better? But I still need to find a master. The lessons I learned, I think I need to unlearn them. And also with you. Thank you. Hey, I got an emitter fixture. Yes, Jim. Let me see what you no, you're still missing a lens. Something else. <laughs> <laughs> I purchased a lens. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, dickhead. Plasma grenades. So, yeah, part of the uh, restored content mod is the... There's a thief going around. And that thief turned out to be a Jedi. She was just trying to be able to steal enough money for food because she had no other way to earn a living because the locals really don't like Jedi. And if they knew she was a Jedi, they'd kill her. So she was forced to steal in order to survive. She somehow managed to survive the purge of the Jedi here in the temple and on Dantooine. Don't ask me how, she just did. Um, you can resolve that negatively, or you can resolve that positively. Obviously, I chose not to resolve that negatively. Uh, there are murderous leg wrecks still all over the fucking building. Uh, she's apparently been using a special force technique to be able to manipulate the animals. Um, this is actually a force technique that we'll discover when we go to Onderon. It's actually a really cool technique. And it is one that Jedi can use. Battle meditation. As you can see, battle meditation is a really big boon in here. Uh, leg wrecks are just straight up fucking dangerous, no matter what you do. Is someone out there? You must be fierce with a blaster. Yeah, this is Joran. Thanks for saving me. All of us salvagers know about that. I'd ask Darala, though. No, I, I didn't get... I 
guess you're right. I grabbed a couple of things in the room we were in. Now, I hadn't thought of that. I, I, I managed to grab three things. One's some sort of crystal, and the other looks like parts. For a lightsaber, maybe, I don't know. If you give me 1,300 credits, you can have it all. That'll be enough for me to get off this rock. Well, it doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than 1,300 credits, and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less. You can buy it from me here. I'm going to come. Oh, yep. Now I got a lens. Yes. Let me see what you have. No. Yes. Uh, apparently I don't still have... Uh, apparently I don't have a lens. Because the game is still trying to say... Yeah. Improved parts don't actually... Like, non-stock parts don't work. Right. That thing actually managed to make a will save versus my battle meditation. That's interesting. I shall honor you. Um, speaking of the Chani, you may actually wonder why the Handmaiden talks the way she does. Um, it's because she's an Ichani, and the Ichani are very much a warrior cast. They're not like Mandalorians, though. They aren't warriors that seek constant challenge in warfare. They are warriors who study combat as a means of communication, a means of self-improvement, and a means of actual, thoughtful, uh, pure forms of expression. To them, Let's go. fighting is far more than just a means to test your physical capabilities and your combat prowess. So, the Ichani are... Items received, dead salvager. Okay. Um, I forgot that you can pick up the body of a salvager and you can go get a reward for him. Um, but the Ichani are very much a people who have an unusual mentality about conflict and battle. They're actually a lot closer to warrior monks uh, than anything. They're not extremely savage, they're not extremely violent, they will absolutely defend themselves, but they don't believe in being aggressive unnecessarily, and they certainly don't believe in wanton slaughter. So that's kind of why the Handmaiden has a somewhat unusual mentality about things, and why fighting to her seems like a way of talking to people, um, rather than... Rather than just killing them. So the Achani are actually a pretty cool and interesting thing. Uh, for anybody wondering, please tune in tomorrow uh, if you want to see me play Space Marine 2. Uh, I'm also about to blow this door. Theodore, please get away. Yeah. Please get away from the fucking door because I was going to blow it open. You idiot. Well, there's a flash point on the other side. Pick that up. I'm gonna break that son of a bitch down later. I'm very impressed that these things can make will saves powerful enough to be able to resist battle meditation. I wouldn't think they'd be able to do that. Oh, this part.
Okay, watch this. This looks like I'm just setting a bunch of droids in meet and greet mode, I know. But believe it or not, it's actually funnier than you think it is. Those droids are now going to go explode on the leg Rex. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. I can finally get destroy droid. That's good. They're gonna wander around these halls until they find a leg wreck to greet, and then uh, the leg wreck will fight it, and then it will explode. See, there's a leg wreck. Watch this. I know it's going to take a moment for it to happen, but just watch. Just watch, you're going to like this. That leg wreck's going to get hostile with that droid. <laughs> <laughs> I've created a series of walking bombs. And they're gonna they're gonna kill the leg wrecks for me. And all I had to do was funnel some repair parts into them. Kaboom! That's two down. There goes another one! Oh wow, that, that one got two. If you ever wonder just how resourceful you can be in this game just by being smart, this is one way to do it. There goes another one! Oh, it's gonna happen again. Is it gonna blow up both of these droids? No, it only killed one. Oh, no, it got them both. Okay. Those are leg wrecks I don't have to fight now. Let's get this over with. That's just one of the coolest things that I've noticed about the Jedi Temple area, and I wanted you guys to be able to witness that. Now, I need to go back, because I remember... I just remembered that there was a locker in there that I didn't open, because I got super excited about using those droids to blow up leg wrecks. I hope you all can forgive me, because I am very overzealous about blowing up giant, annoying, murderous force bugs. Energy collectors. I'm never quite sure what planet the game actually wants you to visit first. A droid wisdom upgrade. Marconian energy shield. 
Droid Bio Assault Spray? That sounds horrifying. <laughs> that sounds incredibly horrifying. Oh god, I'm stuck on the debris. There we go. I also didn't want you guys to miss uh, <clears throat> my clever idea of making a bunch of protocol droids w walk around blowing up on leg wrecks. All those protocol droids had unstable power cores, and that's what made them explode. Sith Disruptor. Bothan Droid Disruptor. Oh. Sure, let's repair the terminal. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and overload said terminal. Huh. You can blow yourself up on that terminal if you want to. It's, it's a little bit funny, but you probably shouldn't do it. Excuse me while I set a bomb? Excuse me while I set a bomb. Run. Yes. Handmaiden, please try not to blow yourself to smithereens. I I know it probably doesn't sound like it, but I actually give a shit what happens to you. I kind of want to get him uh, the skill that makes treat injury no longer require multiple skill points. You'll notice that these leg wrecks will not lay off you even though you've made friends with the Jedi that was controlling them. So, yeah. We're gonna have to kill them anyway. Those leg wrecks were my pets. Yeah, well, those pets were trying to violently murder me. Oh, hello. Your arrival is fortunate. I was just running out of food supplies and wondering what leg wreck meat would taste like. I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic, although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. The fuck are you doing here? Like you, <laughs> I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. That's not the only the reason. was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. And once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay. To protect what was left. Left? Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. What others? Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. I think you underestimate the ingenuity of salvagers. Even the Jedi cannot protect their secrets from those clever or persistent enough. Besides, the Jedi who knew the Enclave are mostly perished, and the ones who survived would not steal from this place. It was my mistake to use the term thefts. I apologize. In any case, if Jedi did take things, for the sake of preservation, of course. You mentioned holocrons. Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It was almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi, and even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Why is that? Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. 
the destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War, the teachings of Master Arca, the adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions. All of these things are in danger of being lost forever. What else would you like to know? You look familiar to me. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? The Sith are awake in the galaxy, and I'm going to need their help to if stop them. If the Sith them. are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them, and that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. Trust me, the Sith are out there, and they've been hounding me since Paragas. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception, but in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. Hmm. Mercenaries killed by a lightsaber. Interesting. This data pad contains orders from Ozkul, leader of these mercenaries on Dantooine. Rook has wandered into the Enclave alone. You will take a full squad and capture the Jedi alive. Bring him to our nook in the Kinrath Caves to await transport in our Shaddaa. You will fetch a fine bounty. I can't let them capture Rook. So be it. I'm going back to those caves. This is gonna get messy. But there's still something here in this place. And I need to find it. Pebbles. Hello, kitty. Come here. Come here. What's the motto? What's the motto, Furpy? Yes, I see you. I know you're there, dummy. You're hard to miss. That's a lot of leg wrecks. Oh! I, shall on the that. I didn't think I'd get to do that. Oh, he managed to will save. This journal was found on a gnawed clean skeleton of a salvager. I made it farther into the Jedi Enclave than any other salvager. I've discovered an untouched storage room. The computer in the power relay station should allow me to open the security door. Once I figure out how to sneak past the leg wrecks that have the nest here that have made a nest here, I will leave Dantooine rich! There's the health regen I mentioned.
Wait a moment. Wait for it. It's been a couple of weeks and no one has come for me. I can only assume the Enclave was destroyed topside and now I'm buried alive in here. I've tried using the equipment in this storage room to hack, force, weld, or blow the flaming security door open, but nothing I've tried works. And now I'm running out of food. Credits. A Chani shield. Heavy sonic blaster and an advanced med pack. Adhesive grenades. He had a heavy sonic blaster. Dude, just fire that off enough. It should have blown that door wide open. Or at least destroyed the lock. Computer spike. Yeah, if you overload that terminal with only, like, a couple seconds to spare... You better make sure at least one person is out of the blast radius, because all of those conduits will go up with it. And that's way more than enough damage to kill you. Yeah, you could be a dick and change that poor guy's will so that all of his possessions go to you. That's a dark side action. Um, I've done it before. He doesn't exactly give you much. So it's not really that worth it. Um, and you don't really need the stuff that he gives you anyway. Hello, Legrek. I could destroy that mine, but I can... I can salvage it instead. Ichani shield and parts. Dark Jedi Master Robe and a Battle Stimulant. 53 credits. So why was a Dark Jedi Master Robe in somebody's foot locker? <laughs> All right. I am going to suggestively save my game, by the way. Sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. I don't suppose you'd like to negotiate a peaceful resolution to this situation. Negotiations are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. People you do not cross. And now, 
Jedi, we shall fight. <laughs> Hell, that didn't last long. Gotta admit, that guy did some damage before he died. Plasma projector! Ooh. Watchman blaster. So, yeah, that guy was just a dick. But, hey, he's dead now, so who cares? So you know that guy that, uh, I just paid 1,300 credits to? I'm about to extort this asshole. I feel much better now, thanks to you. I don't think I thank you properly down there. I was pretty shaken. I really hope the Jedi salvage you bought was worth it. I meant what I said about no returns, though. I need the money to go home. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. It was all Tepele's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. That area has hardly been explored. We barely got in there. Then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for Lagrex. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So the sublevel is about the only place it's left. And as you might have noticed, nothing gets by you, huh? There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the best hauls ever. Tepele said we could do that too, but they were a damn sight more organized than we were. They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. Only two of the four came back, and one died right away from his wounds. The other man was gonna be rich, but then he picked a fight with Garavik. It wasn't much of a fight. Then there was no one left. Well, since every... So people... The only thing he's gonna believe... Uh... You still lurking? You don't look like... Well, you're well. And so. You have. You managed to find him down there? You've proven very helpful. This close to finally finding a Jedi Master and getting some answers. I'm not giving up now. Let's take a look at that plasma projector I just picked up. Sith Disruptor. Oh, it's a pistol! Fully upgraded. Jesus, that's a good pistol. Dude. Okay, looks as disruptor. Uh, you can fuck off in seven different directions now. Heavy sonic blaster. Both and droid disruptor. Oh, damn, dude. Requires weapon specialization blaster rifles. Deals 2 to 24 energy damage. 17 to 20 on crits. 
So it crits on a 17, 18, 19, or a 20. But it can't be upgraded, and it actually has an attack reduction. Okay, so that Sith Disruptor, I might actually want to keep a hold of. That's an insanely good pistol. We got a shitload of droid items here, goddamn. Holy shit! God damn, like the Bothan droid disruptor is just incredibly powerful. Let me go ahead and sell Luke's disruptor because I don't need that anymore. Damn. That is worth so much money. That HK control cluster is going to be pretty important. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Thank you all very much for watching. I've been Savage Hound Dusk, and I'll see you next time. 
Please feel free to check out my YouTube channel. All my VODs are moved there every day after, right after the stream. Uh, have a great day, everybody.